going on y'all it's your boy sinister it's been a minute it's been a minute uh hope everybody been doing good doing great feeling good feeling great hope the family doing good doing great hey y'all just wanted to come do a video it's been a while you know i've been really working on my business and just been in the books doing a lot of studying and stuff like that getting some things in my personal life together um but today i'm out here in um Prescott, Arkansas at a TA. I'm about to get some work done on my on my truck because I got the three axle alignment issue, wearing my tires out real bad. And I don't deliver in Houston until Monday. So I was like, let me um, stop and get it done. I'm gonna get the three axle alignment done. I probably buy some brand new shocks. I probably get my belts changed, my, my belts changed in the engine because I got a squeak on that so that's driving me nuts um so um what else I'm gonna price some brake some brake chambers I'm gonna price those I'm gonna price some airbags like I got an older I got an older truck so um I'm just a little anal about the trucks I drive and things that I, I want my truck to be up to par to my standards. And like I was in Walmart, right, yesterday and I saw a PlayStation, right? So the PlayStation 4 and I'm like, you know what? It was like $2.99. I'm like, oh man, I can grab that. Then grab me a little TV, you know, grab me a TV for the truck, grab me the brand new John Madden, but then you know, my business mindset kicked in and I'm like, is that a priority? And the reason I'm gonna do this video is for a lot of y'all that's looking to get to this level of the game where you get your truck and stuff. Other things take priority over things that you don't need. So I'm like, if I'm gonna sit there and spend almost $600, let me invest that money in my business and my truck because my truck is what's making my money. You know, I gotta get the truck up the par first before I can go ahead and buy the things that are the luxury stuff. Invest in your business first. Make sure that you have a budget put together. You know, get all your fixed costs that you have at home, all your bills, your rent, your cell phone, your electric bill, your cable bill, um, XM radio, Know what it is that you got to pay out each month. So you know what you need to put away and have emergency money just in case a tire goes out. Because I'm responsible for if a tire goes out. Um, I'm about to buy some some glad hands for my, my tractor. So I don't keep using the palm of my hand because I watched the YouTuber. I can't remember his name. But as soon as I go back and watch it, I'll shout him out when I'm doing the glad hands. And I'm putting the handles on it. Um, it messes up this part in your in your palm. So, um, what else? So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the three axle alignment done today. I probably once I find out what's what how much the shock absorbers is gonna be, I probably get those done today and the engine belt because I got a squeak in it. And um, the brake chambers, I'm just gonna price with this with the um, the brake chambers and the airbags. I'm just gonna price those because I want to get brand new airbags. My airbags is not bad, but they've been on this truck from the beginning, most likely. And I can tell when the airbags is bad because you got to get up under the truck to actually look at the bag and everything. So. Uh, I'm just going to price that so I can have a rough estimate in my mind what I need to work towards. Once I get my truck where I got it to my satisfaction, then I'm going to go ahead and work on some other stuff and everything like that. But be sure when you decide to get in this side of the game as far as having your own truck and wanting to be an owner operator or at least purchase owner operator, I don't care about the title. You know, the title just bring more bills. <laughs> yes, the money is good, but it comes with a lot more responsibility. It comes with a lot more. 
got to be a lot more tedious with things. You got to be, you got to pay attention to the price of fuel. Get oil changes. Uh, changing the holes, you know, the, the engine hoses that you need to change. Tires, you know, alignments, balance, balancing your tires. You know, so I got to get all that. Like, I got me a little notebook where I'm just putting little notes together and stuff of what I want to get done with my truck. It's a Volvo 2012. Got 743,000 miles. Um, my credit is up. My personal credit is at 718. So, yeah, I can go to a dealership and put money down on a newer truck. But right now, this truck is working for me. It's working for me. You know, I don't need a super brand new truck because even super brand new trucks break down. You know, it's working for me. I'll be, this truck will be paid off next year. The beginning of next year. I got about 24,000 remaining on it. So, um, and it's running. It's running. You know, I'm not really a big Volvo fan. I got like a love-hate relationship, but hey, it's working. I'm making good money out here. I'm focused. I'm building my credit. And um, that's it. You know, just, just staying focused, staying, just staying in my lane, doing what I do, stay focused. You know, like I told y'all before, um, reevaluate your circle, see who's, you know, who's in your circle, who's there to help you, who's going to motivate you, who's going to support you. You know, so um, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's really not. So um, I also got to get my clearance. One of my clearance lights went out in the in the front in the overhead. So I gotta I gotta order those because the TA really don't sell those type of clearance lights for Volvo. Like a lot of stuff, you gotta go to Volvo to get. Now, yesterday I was getting fuel. I noticed one of my harness straps. It's cracked. So now I got to get that because the TA don't have those for a Volvo. So I got to go to Volvo, buy the Hornet strap, maybe come to a TA or get back to the yard and have them put it on and everything like that. Um, and that's it. So I'm out here doing my thing. I hope everybody been doing good. And... I've been in the books. I've been. I've just been working on my business, working on my personal credit. I got some things back at home that's going on. I'm. I'm handling. You know, some personal matters that that's requiring my my focus. You know what I mean? Like changes. Just the things back home of things that's changing because of my lifestyle. You know. So. Um, but besides that, everything else is. I think I was just going good, taking it one day at a time. You know what I mean? Taking it one day at a time. Um, eventually, I'm gonna have to get brand new tires because the three, that, the the alignment is off, so it's causing my tires to wear out a little bit uneven. So I'm like, since I got time to go ahead and stop and get some work done today before I deliver it down in Houston, I said, let me go ahead and get it done. Um, I gotta go out here. I gotta get the number. There's a number on my shock absorber I got to get for them to pull up and price the shock absorbers to get them changed out. I'm going to eventually um, change my brake pads or my drive axle. I already did the stair axle brakes. Um, so, that's, that's what I've been up to, y'all. That's what I've been up to. Been up to. And, um, let me see. What else? Oh, um, I spoke to my other, you know, I'm getting ready to get a, my next driver. Um, last time I was saying I had got another offer. So now I found the way to actually do payroll for like when I hire drivers where you don't have to be a 1099 employee. Like you actually have your taxes come out for the state that you live in. So I will be doing a video about that. Um. I'm gonna be paying according to your experience. So that's gonna be another video. I just wanted to bring that up real quick because I'm not gonna make this video too long. 
I'm getting ready to wrap this up. I got some things I gotta go do. But um, just be sure to thumbs up the video. You know, be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get back to the videos. I've just been really working on a lot of things financially, home, business-wise. So I got a lot of new stuff. I, I, I got to really lay out on the table for y'all. But, hey, it's your boy Sinister Man. Y'all stay up. And I'll talk to y'all soon, man. Peace.